Hello Medford community, I'm Brett Champion, the proud superintendent of schools here in the Medford School District. And welcome to Medford Anywhere Learning TV. We are so grateful to our partners who helped us bring Medford Anywhere Learning TV to life. And those include Southern Oregon PBS, KTVL, KDRV, and The Dove TV. Special shout out to Southern Oregon PBS for also producing these parts. In the Medford School District, we believe that all are learning, and learning is for all. And what better venue to share our learning than Medford Anywhere Learning TV. Welcome. How's it going there, guys? My name is Teacher Connor, and I'm here with Miss Britt, and we are from the Learning Loft Preschool at Kid Time Children's Museum. And I am expecting a package currently. Said package has arrived. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Britt? Yeah? Uh, I just got this package, and I'm feeling uh, kind of shaky, and my hands are kind of sweaty, and my legs keep on moving, and I am just very unsure of this. Teacher Connor, why would you be feeling like that? I feel so excited that you got a package. I really want to open it, and I'm feeling kind of wiggly, and kind of like I want to sing, and maybe even dance, and I'm, I'm smiling. Open it! Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me that you, 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 are, you are jumping and smiling while I'm feeling all shaky and sweaty? Yeah! There's no reason to feel that way. Just open the package! I, I, I don't, I don't... Ooh, okay. All right. You sure? Totally. Don't you guys think you should open the package? Open the package, Connor. Open it up. Okay. All right. I'm going to open up the package. Here we go. Britt, what, what are these? Teacher Connor, I've totally seen these before. They're yeah. emotions. Emotions? Yeah, what? emotions explain how we're feeling. Oh, oh, you know what? I think some of these kind of looked like how we looked. In fact, that's, that's kind of how I looked before. Connor, I know that one. That one's called feeling nervous or worried. You were feeling nervous about opening the box. Oh, okay. And, and, and this one, this one was kind of like you before when you were all jumpy and, and not sweaty. Yes, Connor, that's exactly how I was feeling. I was feeling excited. I was feeling so excited to open the package. Oh, interesting. Well, that's pretty awesome. Um, you don't happen to know anything more about emotions, do you? Yeah, I do know more about emotions. Emotions are how we're feeling. Emotions explain things that when we see things or hear things and we might look or feel a certain way. Like sometimes when I go to the toy store, I feel so excited and so happy and I feel like I'm just like jumping up and down. Like when the package came. But sometimes like right now, the toy store is closed, and it makes me feel kind of sad, or angry, or even frustrated, like I might start crying. Mm, okay, so that feeling before that I had, when I was, when I was kind of shaky, I was nervous. Do you have anything that could help us kind of not be nervous or not be excited, kind of come back to a level place? Yes! I totally do. One time I was at school and my teacher taught me that if I'm feeling maybe too excited or I'm feeling too nervous or I'm feeling too angry, I can breathe. Breathe, you say? Yeah, it's really, 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 really easy. Do you want to try it? Yes, of course. I would absolutely love to try it. How do okay. we do this? Okay, so you're going to take a really, really, really big inhale through your nose. Okay. And then you're going to, and that means you're pushing air up through your nose. You're sucking in the air. And then you're going to let all the air out your mouth. And you're going to do it kind of slowly. Do you want to try it with me? Absolutely. Okay, you're going to go. Do you want to try? Yeah, okay. All right, all right. I got this. All right. All right, here we go. Oh. 
Oh, I do feel better. It helps. You, you know guys want to try? Yeah, let's have them try. Okay, here we go, guys. Ready? Nice. You know what else can help? You can also talk to a grown up or a friend. You can call somebody on the phone. Sometimes talking about how you're feeling can also really, 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 really help. I'm going to read this book to you called One, and it is a story about emotions, and it's by Catherine Otashi, and it's one of my very, very, very favorite books. Blue was a quiet color. He enjoyed looking up at the sky, floating on the waves, and on days when he felt daring, splashing in the rain puddles. Every once in a while, he wished he could be a little more like yellow, or bright like green, or more regal like purple, or outgoing like orange. But overall, he liked being blue, except when he was with red. Red was a hothead. He liked to pick on blue. Red is a great color he'd say. Red is hot and blue is not. And then blue would feel bad about being blue. Sometimes yellow comforted blue. Blue is a very nice color, she'd say. But yellow never said that in front of red. She never said, stop picking on blue. Green, purple, and orange thought blue was nice too but they never told Red to stop either. Every time Red said something mean and no one spoke up, he got bigger and bigger and bigger. Soon Red grew so big that everyone was afraid of him. No one dared to stop him. Red picked on all the colors. And then everyone felt a little blue. Kind of reminds me of how Connor was feeling when Connor was feeling a little sad and a little worried. Until one came. Can you see my number one there? One has sharp corners and bold strokes. He was funny. He made the other colors laugh. Red saw this and he got really hot. Stop laughing, he told yellow. Stop laughing, he told green. Stop laughing, he told purple and orange. And they did. Red rolled up to one. Stop laughing, he told him. But one stood straight up like an arrow and said, no. Can you say that with me in a really big, strong voice like one? No. Red was mad, but one wouldn't budge, so Red rolled away. One turned to the other colors and said, if someone is mean and picks on me, I, for one, stand up and say no. Just like we did. Could we do it again? No. Then Yellow felt brave and said, me too. Green agreed and said, me three. Then purple became four, and orange became five. Blue saw the other cha colors change. He wanted to count, too. Red grew red hot. He felt left out. He grew hotter and hotter and hotter. How do you think red is feeling right now? Do you think maybe he's feeling angry? Really, really angry? I think he is too. Red raced over to Blue and said what he always did. Red is hot and Blue is not. But this time, Blue stood up tall and became six. Red can be really hot, he said but blue can be super cool. 
red, blue, a fuse. Oh, he's more than angry now. He's furious. And he tried to roll over blue. But everyone took a stand and said, just like we did before, no. Look at all of our numbers. Let's count them and see if they're all here. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Seeing them stand tall made red feel very, very, very small. Then red turned redder and he began to roll away. But Blue called out, hey, can Red be hot and Blue be cool? Red stopped in his tracks. Red could count too, said one. Red rocked and he rolled and he turned into seven. Everyone counts, they shouted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then Red laughed and he joined in the fun. Sometimes it just takes one. So Connor, my friends from the book one um, asked me if we could do a little counting activity with them because we're really good at counting and they wanted us to help, but we might need your help too. Do you think you guys could help us with some counting? Could we count the blue friends and the red friends to help us? Okay, awesome. So I've got my friends here. Connor, would you help me with some counting? Absolutely. Okay, so I have, I think, two blue friends here, and I think I have two red friends here, but I'm not sure how many I have all together. Let's see if we can count them all up. I got this. I am a professional counter, been doing this for at least a minute. Here we go. You guys ready? All right, all together. Elephant, stripes, soda can, blue. No! Connor, Connor, that is not how you count. Those are not numbers. Uh, oh, let me, let me try again. Let me try again. Okay. I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. You guys ready? All together now. One, 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 one. Connor, no! That is not how you count. Oh. Maybe we could try it together. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, right, let's right. try it together. And could you guys help us out? Maybe if you say it really loud, Connor can hear you, and we could all try it together. Let's try it. Here we go. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. There are four friends, Connor. I knew that. Totally knew that. Totally. It's okay. I have the number four here so that we can oh, make good. sure we have four friends. Oh, m m uh... Mm, uh, Miss Britt? Yeah? Um, you're really close. You're so, she's right, right there. It's just gotta kinda just schloople the number just to, just a teensy bit, a little bit more. Look, closer, warmer, 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 boom, boom. What do you think, yes. guys? Did I get it? Yeah. Perfect, thank you so much for your help, Connor. Okay, should we try another one? Absolutely. Okay, so I've got my four friends and I'm gonna add one more blue friend and one more red friend. Whoa. I know, we've got a lot. Do you think we could count them? We got this. You guys ready? Okay, here okay. we go. Okay. Ready, Connor? I got this, I got this. A, B, C, D, E, F. Connor, that Oof. is not... I know, I know what you're thinking. How did I become such a great counter? Well, it was, it, it, it's been, you know, at least minutes of practice. Guys, that's not how you count. Those were letters, Connor. Oh. Oh. How do, how do, how, how do we count it? Do you want some help? Please. Okay, let's try it together and let's say it really loud so teacher Connor can hear us again and let's help him out. Will you guys help me out? Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. We have six friends all together and I have the number six, Connor. Don't worry, I got this part. Alrighty. That is a, uh, oh dear. 
Um, sh should I tell her or should you? I I'll, I'll let her know. Uh, Miss Britt? Yeah? We've been friends for a long time, right? Yeah. So, so, so I can, I can speak honestly with you? Yeah. I don't think that's a, uh, six. I, oh, oh, this is the part that's always so hard for me. Could you guys help me out? I have a couple different numbers. Maybe you could tell me which one is the number six. Do you think they could do that? They got this. Okay, so I'm gonna put up a couple numbers and then I'll point. And could you guys yell when you see the number six? Okay, so, no? They're saying no. Okay, okay. Uh, nope, that's a no, that's a no. Okay. That's a yes! Yes, yes, thank you so much, you guys. You are such good helpers. And I feel a lot better about my counting skills now. How about you, Connor? Definitely. Thanks, awesome. Ms. Brett. Thanks, You're guys. Welcome. Thanks, guys. Whew, sounds good. You guys ready? Here we go. Well, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. All right, we're gonna do another emotion now. What about angry? Now for angry, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stomp our feet. Can you guys stomp your feet with me? All right, here we go. Big ol' angry face. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. Nice one. All right, all right, all right. I got another one. How about excited? This is what Miss Britt was before when we were opening up that package. Now, what's a good one that we could do while we move? How about we jump up and down? You guys ready? We're gonna jump up and down. If you're excited and you know it, jump up and down. If you're excited and you know it, jump up and down. If you're excited and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're excited and you know it, jump up and down. Very good. Excellent jumpers. You guys should be professional kangaroos. All right, now the next one. What we're going to do is we are going to be frustrated. This is when something isn't quite going your way, when you want it to go a certain way, and it's not. And what we're going to do is we are going to cross our arms like this. You can look down. Can you give me a big old frustrated face? Ooh, nice crossing your arms. Here we go. If you're frustrated and you know it, cross your arms. If you're frustrated and you know it, cross your arms. If you're frustrated and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're frustrated and you know it, cross your arms. Very good. Arm crossing. I'm not sure what career requires arm crossing, but you should definitely do it. All right, now what we're going to do, friends, is we are going to be very, very scared. Now, for scared, what we're going to do is we're going to close our eyes. Can you guys close your eyes? Nice. Here we go. Well, if you're scared and you know it, close your eyes. If you're scared and you know it, close your eyes. If you're scared and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're scared and you know it, close your eyes. All right, we can open them again. Very impressive, scaring or scared face. All right, we got one more. And what we're gonna do for this one is we are gonna be very, very silly. All right, friends, nice and silly. Now, when I'm feeling silly, I do all sorts of things, but for the sake of this song, what we're going to do is we are gonna stick our tongue out like this. If you're feeling very silly, stick your tongue out. If you're feeling very silly, stick your tongue out. If you're silly and you feel everything, if you're feeling silly, stick your tongue out. Nice job, guys. This book is called My Friend is Sad and is written by Mo Willems. Oh. Uh, hmm? Hmm. How does he look, friends? Does, does, does this elephant over here, named Gerald, look happy? His, his, his eyes are kind of down like that, and his, his, his mouth is making this shape. Do we remember what emotion that was? 
That's right, sad. Piggy says, my friend is sad. <sighs> I will make him happy. Huh? Yeehaw! Uh oh. What what is Piggy dressed up as? That's right, cowboy. A cowboy! Do -do 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 -do. Uh, Gerald loves cowboys, but he is still sad. Hmm? Do -do 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 -do. What? What's that? That's right, it's Piggy dressed up as a clown. And what, 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 is, what is Piggy doing right now? Juggling. Very impressive. A clown! Do -do -do. Now she's juggling with her feet and standing on one finger. I didn't know pigs had fingers. Oh. Clowns are funny, but he is still sad. Hmm? Ooh, whoa. What did, what did Piggy bring? A robot. Now, if you look really closely, does, does this look very easy for Piggy, or is this kind of hard for Piggy to do? Yeah, you see all the sweat dripping off Piggy? She is having a tough time handling that robot. A robot! Uh. Oh. How can anyone be sad around a robot? <sighs> now that's definitely a sad face. That's probably the saddest I've ever seen, Gerald. Gerald! Piggy! Whoa. Did you see? how Gerald's face completely changed here. First, Gerald was like this. And then his, his mouth is open, his eyes are wide. He's like, do you remember what that one was? Excited, that's right. I am sorry. I wanted to make you happy, but you are still sad. I am not sad now, I am happy. You are happy? I am happy because you are here. Aww. But I was so sad, Piggy. So very sad. I saw a cowboy. Hmm? <sighs> but, but you love cowboys, Piggy says. I do love cowboys. But you were not there to see him. Was Piggy there to see him? I don't think Gerald knows that. Well, well, in fact, I, there was more. Then I saw a clown, a funny clown. But you were not there to see him. But, but, There was more! I saw a robot! A cool, beeping, awesome robot! And my best friend was not there to see it with me. I don't think that Gerald knows. But, um, y you see, I am here now. You are, you are here now. My friend is here now. Hmm. Hmm. I need my friends. You need new glasses. Thank you, guys. So we have one last story to read together today, and it's called the I'm Not Scared book. And Teacher Connor, maybe you could help me read this book. Sure. We could read it together. Sometimes I'm scared of the dark. I'm not scared if I have a nightlight. 
sometimes I'm scared of dogs. I'm not scared when they give me kisses. Oh, that's Good not job. so bad. Sometimes I'm scared to ride on an airplane. I'm not scared when I see the world from above. Sometimes I'm scared of monsters and ghosts. I'm not scared when I see that they aren't real. Sometimes I'm scared when my family argues. I'm not scared when we hug and say I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm scared to go shopping for new underwear. It's a valid fear. <laughs> uh, I'm not scared when I wear them on my head. What? The traditional way how you test out underwear. What? Mm -hmm. No. Oh. Sometimes I'm scared that I'll get lost in the grocery store. I'm not scared when I stay close to mommy. Sometimes I'm scared on my first day of school. I'm not scared when I make new friends. And sometimes I'm scared of thunder and lightning. Ooh. I'm not scared when I build a fort with my best friend. Sometimes I'm scared that I'll do something wrong. Mm. I'm not scared when I help fix it, though. Sometimes I'm scared that I'll make a mistake. Mm. I'm not scared when I know that I tried my best. And sometimes I'm scared that I'm not perfect. I'm not scared when I meet someone just like me. Sometimes we're scared of things because we don't understand them. And when you're afraid, you can tell someone why, and maybe you won't be scared anymore. How about we do one last deep breath before we say goodbye to all of our friends until we see them next time. Do you think that they could join us? Yeah. Bye, everybody. See ya. See you next time. Thank you for joining us today on Medford Anywhere Learning TV for the latest updates on what's going on in the Medford School District, including COVID-19 updates, as well as next steps for Medford Anywhere Learning, because there's always more still to come. Check out our website at www.medford.k12.or.us. See you soon. and I'm in fifth grade. Tell me about the school board. What do you know about a school board and what a school board does? I think it makes like big decisions for the school and um, do you decide field trips? It is the people that decide like uh, like stuff about the school like they're the people that decide all the school ru rules and stuff like that. What do you think about that? I mean, it sounds kind of like a big job. Yeah, it is a pretty big job. I've seen like what they do and it's pretty cool. They volunteer, so they don't really get paid. It's kind of shocking that they don't get paid, but like it's good that they're volunteering, you know? They do some work for us and I like, um, like for the students, I guess. I think that that's really nice of them, especially since like, I just think it's really nice because a lot of people don't take the time to do that in their day and they don't, a lot of people don't care that much about other people. I like how um, they all like make a decision by listening to each other's ideas and correcting each other's ideas. Keep doing that if you want like the world to be a good place and maybe that, that might encourage some kids when they grow up to be a teacher too. Thank you for the amazing ideas and rules you've come up with and I hope that you guys keep on having fun with your job and make very good decisions. Gracias, Medford School Board.